if you have not noticed, guys, I'm very different from the other channels that are out there. I teach you guys how to play chess, not checkers. I don't want you to be reacting to something that's already done damage to your life. I don't want you to be in damage control. I don't want you to be trying to patch things up after they've done harm to your life, to your finances. I want you to be ahead of the curve, ahead of the game. This is why I produce things. So before we get in the meat of this video, I wanna ask you guys one simple question. Would you go into your job tomorrow, next day, next week, and clock in and try to do a job that your supervisor is doing? Would you go in and say, you know, I'm gonna do what my manager's doing today. I'm gonna uh, just do whatever I want. No, you wouldn't. You would do your job because that's what you got hired for, right? This is how companies and corporations operate. This is how they've been in business for so long. You won't go into a factory or whatever spot and say, well, I'm the boss today. This is what I'm gonna do. You're not gonna tell your supervisor what you're going to do and what you're not going to do. You know why? Because you'll get fired, you'll get terminated. They'll get rid of you and replace you with somebody else who's going to cooperate and do what they're told. This is why relationships, for the most part, between men and women don't work out. Because one party is doing something that they're not supposed to, and the other is allowing it. Men and women have gotten things mixed up. Women are trying to be more masculine. They're trying to run the show. They're trying to lead. They're trying to be in control. And the majority of men are allowing it. They're saying, well, uh, it's all good. You know, she can have a say so in things. She can have the final say. And this is why relationships are not working because they're supposed to be like a business, like a Fortune 500 company. Men are operating on uh, their emotions and they're falling so in love with women and then they're becoming naive. Part of a woman's job is to find a guy who's inexperienced with women and in life and manipulate him so she can get what she wants out of him. And in turn, she'll lose respect and she'll end up discarding him. So if you want something to work with a woman, you have to know yourself what your role is as a man and you have to know her role. And what you have to do is hold her to a certain standard and not let her try to do your job because you're the manager, you're the boss, you're the CEO. She follows your lead, and if she does not want to follow your lead and cooperate, what do you do? You get rid of her, and you hire another woman who is going to cooperate and do her job so the operation can flow smoothly. So, when you meet a woman, here's what I want you to do. I want you to ask her this question, and if she cannot answer it, what you need to do is get rid of her, okay? because she's not going to make things flow real smooth in the operation. She's gonna to come to your business, come into your life, and she's gonna to try to uh, one up the system and say, I'm not gonna do this, I'm not gonna do that, okay? You want to deal with individuals, women, who are doing 100% what they're supposed to do, who know their role. Part of the issue guys are going, uh, falling into, is they're getting with women who don't even know their role, okay? So, before you start to get into uh, dating and, and, and paying for women and investing in the situation, your time and emotions, I want you to ask her this. And this is gonna tell you everything you need to know about that woman. Now, you can proceed with caution or you can just uh, use it for recreational use. Hang out, hook up, have a good time, and keep it moving. Ask her this. What is a woman's role in a relationship? Now, she's going to get upset most likely because most women are trained to be in control and run the show. Or she's going to tell you, okay, a woman is supposed to do this, 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 and this. Because again, if she doesn't know her, uh, her MO, if she doesn't know her job, how can she be uh, down with your business? How can she be, how can you hire her? She don't know what she's doing. She got to come on and, and, and mess up the whole operation and mess your life up. And you don't want that. So, 
Ask her, just sit her down. It's a harmless question. What do you think a woman's role is in a relationship? Oftentimes women will get an attitude. She will say, what, what do you mean a role? So when she hear what role, and if she says something like this, oh, uh, men and women are equal. You know what you're dealing with. Don't try to uh, change her mind and debate and sit her down and say, hey, listen, but, but uh, I'm the man and you're the woman. This is how it's supposed to be. No, don't do that. You just smile and say, oh, okay. If she says, uh, men and women can cook dishes. We can, we can uh, take care of the kids. We can do all these different things around the house. You know what you, you, know what you got on your hands, okay? Because she does not know her role. She's not gonna have the business to function and flow smoothly. She's going to uh, destroy the business eventually. She's gonna destroy your life. She's gonna make things very hard. You know your role as a man to lead, to create, to build, to guide her, to impute the knowledge that she needs to become a better person, a better woman, a better individual for you, for your business. Always remember, you're the CEO. You're worth more. You're more creative, you're stronger, you're more wise, okay? So if she cannot answer this question, and if she gets upset or she's kind of confused, she's like, um, bro, um, well, I don't think, uh, no. Just think of it like this. Let's say that you play football or basketball, whatever sport, right? I'm a three sport athlete growing up, so I know this very, uh, very well. Let's say you're sitting on a bench and you're, you're, uh, the game is going on and you're just watching, you're like, yeah, yeah. And you have not really warmed up, you have not got the reps and you're sitting and sitting and they say, and the coach looks down and say, Darius, get in the game. And you're like, oh, me? Okay. And you get in and you don't know what to do. That's because you haven't been paying attention that well. So when you get in, you, you're, you're running around you're, and, and they call a play and you're going over here. You're running a different route. You're setting a pick over here. You're you're over. You're doing this. You're doing that. You're supposed to be in a man to man, and and they call a zone. And you're like, oh well, my bad. And guess what's gonna happen? The player's gonna get mad at you. The team is gonna get mad at you. The coach, who's the head, who put you in, he's gonna be upset at you because you're supposed to know your role. And if you don't know your role, you're going to get pulled out of the game. And you got to sit on the bench for the rest of the game until you're able to understand your role and get back in the game and help the team and help the coach get a W. This is how it is. Roles are very important. You don't want to be running around or her coming into your life and just messing things up and just like, well, let's just go with the flow. No. If there's no blueprint for you and her, if she don't know what she's supposed to be doing, she's not going to be good for you. She's going to make things very, very hard. She's going to make things complicated. 